Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and I've been a staunch opposer to the Netflix Witcher series for quite a long time now, season two especially just threw out the lore and replaced it with shit, and I really despise season two especially. Season one was fine for the most part, they got a lot of the like, Geralt stuff right for the short stories, but the series stuff and the Yennefer stuff, they, they made up a lot of it or took it from single references, passing comments, and characters who do a lot of stuff later, they kind of just made up stories for them earlier on. It was a bit of a mess in season one, but at least the Geralt stuff was good and accurate. In season two, it was like, hey, uh, Triss went to care more and to help Ciri. Yeah, and that was about it. A lot of the book of the Blood of Elves, which season two was based on, takes place with Ciri and Yennefer training with magic together. But when they took away Yennefer's magic and took her on this weird little quest with Francesca and the other sorceresses to get the witch in the cabin in the woods or whatever situation they robbed about like more than half of blood of elves content with that and then Geralt's off doing this weird side quest with the boulders it's it wasn't blood of elves and because of that season three cannot adapt the events of time of contempt book two at all in any way shape or form because there isn't that setup there isn't that relationship that was built up between Ciri and Yennefer because that continues on into season three them spending all that time together training going to Eretuza and the tower of the goals like all that setup is gone and a lot of the Geralt setup is gone they cannot adapt a time of contempt at all there's no way shape or form so I am highly concerned for season three coming up and there's been some announcements about season three and the planned prequel series mini series for the Witcher universe and I am not looking forward to it and it's a few little lines that come as blasphemy at this point because of how they've mistreated the books and the book fans so we've got this poster here from the Witcher, this is about the prequel that's coming, The Witcher Blood Origin. Now, there's been some speculation on what this series will cover. And from Blood Origin, we all assumed that it was going to be Lara Duran's story. She's the beginning of the Elder Bloodline, which leads eventually to Ciri and gives her her abilities. And so Blood Origin like that. I don't like the name Blood Origin, kind of a cheesy name. But apparently that's what we think it's going to cover. But with the added words here, Worlds Will Collide, this might be also covering the conjunction of the spheres. And either or, I don't think they're going to do a good job with that. But... You can't do both at the same time. Laura Duran and the Conjunction of Spheres weren't exactly at the same time, at least the major events from Laura Duran's life. She's obviously an elf, so long lived. Not going to be a good situation. I have zero hope for this. I mean, what about this image says The Witcher? These tattoos don't really say anything whatsoever. And I do like Michelle Yao and Mini Driver. I just don't see the writing. And that's always been my problem. These shows, The Witcher universe is good at casting but not so good at the writing point. I mean, they gave Siri scream powers. What was that about? What the hell? But yeah, so I, I don't see Witcher in this prequel whatsoever, and I'm not looking forward to it, and apparently it's coming out the 25th of December. Christmas Day for a Witcher series. I don't see the correlation there, but whatever, this prequel, I'm going to check it out because I care about this universe so very much, and I don't want to see the story of Laura Dern destroyed or the conjunction of the spheres and the bigger problem is it's a very ambiguous history not anything was actually like written down specifically about those events so they just have random references to build the story and i don't see them doing a very good job with random references if they don't even have good dialogue that they can adapt because all the best moments from seasons one and season two of the main witcher series were when they adapt actual lines of dialogue from the books like Geralt's middling evil speech and then his speech when Roach died in season two those are the only opportunities that show had to be good and if they don't have dialogue in this series I just don't think it can be good if the same writers are involved at least and there was also this announcement for season three we knew it was in production already but they're saying the time of contempt is nigh and that really pisses me off because it cannot be the time of contempt they cannot adapt time of contempt whatsoever there is no setup there they, they 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 physically cannot because of what they threw out with blood of elves and so now they're just name dropping taking the name of the second book in vain in some vain attempt to entice book fans back who have been so utterly disregarded by them and i'm okay with adaptations changing the lore that's never necessarily been a problem but you need to exchange it with something of commiserate value they took pure goals with the blood of elves and traded in for shit and so that's the bigger problem if it was gold for gold i'm okay with that 
And it's just really, they're misunderstanding the universe of The Witcher. The books are near exclusively from the perspective of Geralt or Ciri. And I think that's the way they should have kept it. Focused on Geralt because Geralt is what everyone loves about this series. Not a whole lot of people care about all the sorceresses and the sorcerers that we get a lot of in seasons one and two and a whole lot of that. No one really cares about having their own adventures on the side. And they're they're losing what people like, downgrading it, because Geralt was barely in season two, not as much as the main character should be. And for Time of Contempt, he does have less screen time. It would make sense for him to be in it less. That is probably his smallest addition to the series. Siri had a lot of character chapters in that one, but I, I just don't see this being good, and it feels like they're mocking us because they know they can't adapt Time of Contempt now, but they're still going to name drop it and try to entice us back in only to pull the rug out from under us with some new contrived nonsense like they did for season two. And I am not not okay with them doing that. But those are the big announcements, and it's coming in summer of next year, which is a bit sooner than I would have expected, not doing the full, like, two years, three years like it was for seasons one versus two. Now, this isn't official news from the Witcher Twitter account or anything like that, but there's a strong rumor that the Duchess of Toussaint will be in this newest season a little early, but not necessarily a super big deal. And the problem is that she's related to Fringilla Vigo, which means they're going to have to race swap the Duchess of Toussaint. And the problem with that is, well, beyond race swaps, I'm usually never okay with, that means that more than half Half of the book characters have been race or gender swapped at that point, if she is included. Half. This is Polish folktale. This is adapting Polish mythology. That shouldn't be the case. And these people that champion the race swaps who are going to come in the comments and like, hey, what do you have a problem with race swaps? I'll just ask you this. Uh, why is whitewashing a bad term? Same rules apply, just inverted the variables. I'm not okay with either situation. So, can't take a Polish folktale and then race swap, gender swap, more than half of the characters. That's too far. It's not like at least House of the Dragon. It's just a couple characters. I mean, they're vital characters that cause some narrative issues with their children. But at least it's a few characters. With this, we're at half. Half. How is this Poland anymore? You might have an excuse for, uh, like, Zarakania. Yeah, just say, oh, the character, this version of the character has some ancestry in Zarakania, but that'll be onesie twosies. Zarakania is pretty far away and not easy to immigrate from. I mean, Geralt makes a big deal about it in the Last Wish collection of short stories when there's two Zarakanian women's in the dragon storyline, and they did include that in the show as well. But it shouldn't be as big of a deal to him to see some Zarakanian women if nearly half of the people he encounters are race swapped. I mean, Philippa Eilhart's race swap, Tris Marigold's race swap, Nenica's race swap, the Duchess of Tucson, Frangilla Vigo, Istrid, everyone. This, this is too far. This isn't the Witcher books. They don't adapt the books and they change the characters in so many ways. And this is just one of the ways that they change the characters. But half, half. I just really hate this series so very much. All the good in it was destroyed by season two, and they have the roadmap there with the books because they're obviously not talented enough to make their own good story, so just use the roadmap that they have, but they don't, and then they mock fans by including stuff like the time of contempt is not. So those are my thoughts. I know it's a little long rambled. I just want an excuse to talk about the books a little bit because I'm currently rereading them, and you all definitely should check them out as well, but these aren't good announcements. I know it's just two images with a couple words in the text, but they say a lot. They say a lot. The conjunction of the spirits is not something that should be connected to Laura Duren, and I don't want to see Netflix ruin those two events because worlds will collide. They might go full Doctor Strange 2 with it, and that would really piss me off. So not a great future coming for the Netflix Witcher series. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. you like what I do here and want to see good compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.